in Detroit, the sixth of 12 children, Deborah C. Virgils, a community leader and businesswoman, began as a McDonald's cashier and worked her way up to become owner-operator of as many as four of the fast food franchises in Detroit, Michigan. She would say, in life, you always have to make sure you take someone with you. If you're going to the top, you have to take someone to the top with you. And she lived by that philosophy. Deborah started working for the fast food company during her senior year at Chadsey High School. After being a McDonald's employee for 24 years, she bought her first McDonald's in 1996, located on Grand River Avenue near the Southfield Freeway in Detroit's Rosedale Park. She later opened a second location in Detroit's Midtown on Woodward Avenue between Willis and Canfield Streets. Deborah, a hard worker and shining star, went on to become president of the Ronald McDonald House in Detroit. She also was active in the Detroit branch of the NAACP, the Women's Informal Network, the National Association of Professional Women, and served on the board of directors of Don Bosco. A faithful member of Tabernacle Missionary Baptist, where she gave generously, Deborah also raised funds for the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History and was honored with the Spirit of Detroit Award from the Detroit City Council in recognition of outstanding leadership and dedication to improving the quality of life for Detroiters. As a McDonald's owner, Deborah supported the Life Walk Cafe at the Motep Life Walk and Run for 10 years and was also a sponsor of the breakfast. Deborah tirelessly and consistently shared her philanthropic love of community to help improve the lives of others. On April 27, 2016, Deborah made her transition from this expression of life. She was 60 years old. Today, we salute our friend and sister, Deborah Virgils, and in tribute, we have renamed our Life Walk Cafe to honor her legacy of generosity and the altruistic support she freely gave to the gift of life, Motel. <music>